G'day folks. I picked up this neat little driver unit today. I believe it's off an electric wheelchair or similar type of apparatus. Uh, DC 24 volt motor. It's got a differential and everything in it. Neutral switch. Uh, motor's missing one brush. I've just modified this old GMC angle grinder brush to fit as a replacement. Uh, I'm just going to put a bit of power to it and see what it does. It doesn't turn over by hand when I grab both shafts and twist them, so it could just be a worm reduction, which will obviously not allow me to turn it by hand. Or it could be seized or stuffed. Who knows? Time to test it out. Okay, I'll give it a quick test with 24 volts, and here's the Mose open circuiting little helical gear drive in there which is free but the shaft itself isn't may have seized up and just burned itself out on whatever it was installed on that works okay well this motor is fitted with an electromagnetic brake which is subsequently frozen and water ingress and other problems Okay, well I decided to pull it all to bits. It wasn't going to work as it was. Uh, first problem I found is the electronic brake module, electromagnetic brake that is, is seized solid. All that's frozen in. That's why I couldn't turn it by hand. Gearbox is fine. Helical gears. Uh, the reason why this was open circuiting was simply because this brush is sticking back in its holder. The uh, armature's fine, the commutator bars are perfect. I don't even think they've ever been resurfaced. In mint condition. I don't think this thing's been used much, it was just, I don't know, maybe kept as a spare part but tossed out in the graveyard outside somewhere. It's just been out in the weather. A bit of moisture's gotten in and caused a few little problems. But no, that's uh, pretty good. It will work again. Okay, well this is the electromagnetic brake. It's a cover plate. One wear surface on it. A piece of friction material. Second wear plate. And the coil. Very dirty. Might have gotten a bit hot. I'm guessing this needs to be energised to disengage from the uh, motor clutch. Energises and disengages when the motor comes on and when you actually let go of the uh, hand grip on the wheelchair or whatever it is, the brake engages and the motor stops. So it's sort of the reverse of what I thought, but I don't know, might leave it off. See how we go. Quick test of the e-brake before I reinstall it. Everything's cleaned up and ready to go. So make contact. There you go. Doesn't have to move far. It's just enough to free up that little thingy inside. Cool.
final testing time. See how well it goes. Right. Oh. Differential work. New tool. I'm not going to try and stop it too hard. <laughs> the key ways will tear my hands apart if I try. It's a lot of talk. Brake works well. Won't start with the brake on. Cool. Time to turn this into something. Thanks for watching.